Good morning. It's June 1st, 2015. And it's been just a little over three weeks since I started this strawberry tower. Originally, I was going to wait uh, four weeks before I posted another video on this, but the tower is working so well, I decided to post a video a little earlier than I originally planned. As you can see, the plants are doing extremely well. The majority of the plants are have an abundance of berries on them, either at their fully ripened stage or pretty close. I haven't done a count, but all the plants are doing extremely well. Look at this plant. Amazing. Everything appears to be healthy. They seem to be doing extremely well. So I'm hoping that my solution to correct uneven watering throughout the tower has been corrected by filling the interior of the tube with the clay balls. That's a nice looking strawberry. Now the nutrient solution I'm using in the reservoir is uh, the Master Blend formula from M MHP Gardener. So you can go to his channel and and see how to purchase and mix it up. I'm, at the pH I'm running about 6.0, 6.2, somewhere in that range. Another batch of berries coming down here. I think the plants up above get more light. So they're going to ripen quicker, which is fine. And I'm, my hope is that these produce throughout the summer. Very pleased so far. Let's hope it continues. And there's 22 plants in this tower. And while I'm right here... This is my small Dutch bucket system. These two here I have reserved for some str or string bean plants that I'm trying to get to germinate and get going. I have a couple of cherry tomato plants, a cucumber plant, and I've had a really wide range of temperatures over the last three weeks. I had three nights of frost. And you can see I got burned on the edges here with the frost, even though I had it covered. This cucumber plant, just make a mental note of it. And uh, I'll, sh I'll compare this one here against the one in the greenhouse. I have a beefsteak tomato plant doing pretty well. And this was an experiment. This is a butternut squash plant. This too got hit by the frost. As a matter of fact, I thought I was going to lose it, but uh, I cut some of the burned leaves off and it seems to be coming back okay. As a matter of fact, I have fruit set in several places. So that'll be nice if that works. I had temperatures down to mid 20s uh, one night. Take a walk out. To the to my other garden in the back of the my property here in a second. I've had a couple messages back and forth with an individual on setting up one of these Dutch bucket systems inexpensively. And for my system here, I've got six buckets, uh, the pump and the tubing and the pipe and everything. I don't think I have thirty dollars invested so far for the. And we had a discussion about the the manifold. So this is for that individual. What I did was I took uh, some lengths of old PVC water pipe. And you can see how I have it set up. I have a drip irrigation kit that I purchased from Harbor Freight. And I think that cost me $7 on sale. 
and inside and you get a hundred feet of tubing so that's probably enough for a couple lifetimes for me I've never had problem with it clogging or anything and inside the kit they'll have these T's and I take the T and I make two cuts on the bandsaw so I wind up with three hose barbs and in the PVC water pipe I drill a, a hole in one side so that these barbs that are left fit nice and tight like that and then I take when I go to assemble it I take it apart and put a, a, a coating of Gorilla super glue on the outside push it in and it's good to go I've never had a leak in two years so for minimal cost I have a manifold that I can make any size that I want and it works extremely well yeah, I'm walking out to the greenhouse there's a cattle panel greenhouse I have four wicking beds this one has some string beans that are just starting to pop up and this one here I have this one I have a couple squash plants and I have to have plastic ready to go over everything just because of the weather this year I'm I don't even think I'm gonna try my rain gutter growth system it works well but I just overproduce so much that I have a tough time getting rid of the, the things I grow a couple more wicking beds spinach Swiss chard some romaine red romaine and looks like butter crunch and some beets are coming I should have taken a picture last winter. The snow was right about here last winter. Unbelievable. And actually, it pushed in the side from the weight uh, on this cradle panel a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see a little dip <laughs> bowed in there from the weight of the snow. Now, just in my humble opinion, growing greens any other way other than a crack key system is a waste of time. If you if you have any space available for a, a crack key setup, try it. I mean, this is set and forget. There's no weeding, no watering, no maintenance. This is on autopilot. Uh, for its entire life and this is my second crop I planted this one I just this is a bunch of butter crunch uh, lettuce I just planted here a couple days ago and I have found that if I let them mature a little bit get going and then turn the air on uh, it seems to work better when I put the air on from the beginning, it, it seems like it stunts the plants a little bit. At least that's been my experience. Now this Kratky setup is just about ready to be uh, torn down. It's at the end of its life cycle. I started this back uh, late March, early April, and I've been I can't keep up uh, eating what just these two tubs produce. I like Swiss chard, uh, <laughs> but I'm having it like every day. I mean, it's good, but again, uh, that's why I didn't use the uh, rain gutter system because I just overproduce. Uh, the romaine lettuce is excellent. As you can see, everything is healthy, and I don't do anything, nothing, except come out here every day and, and pick a little bit to eat. There's my one beef steak, uh, similar to the one on the, my deck. 
And I see it got blossoms coming. That's this one already. Now, as you recall, I told you to take a snapshot of that cucumber plant on the on my deck. This is the same from the same seeds. Started the same time. Put in the out here the same time frame as the one on the deck, and look at the difference. I have. Uh, Blot male blossoms already. I'd like to see a couple female blossoms here. But look at the difference. Just providing a little protection. And this one's starting to take off now. This growth probably doubled its size in the last week. Same nutrient solution. Everything's the same. Just the difference that uh, the greenhouse makes. Back on the cracky, like I say, growing greens any other way is just a total waste for me. The wicking beds are nice, but I have to water it frequently and I have to make sure it's weeded and this here is, is nothing. It takes care of itself. So that's the latest update on the strawberry towers. Very pleased with what I'm seeing there. Cracky system, very pleased. And uh, hopefully I'll have cucumbers here in a couple weeks. So I won't have to buy those anymore for a while. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, have a nice day.